Russia finalized the production of a pair of the most recent Iridium-400 nuclear reactors for the next-generation icebreaker of Project 10510, called LEADER, in early September 2025. During the three years of intensive labor leading up to this stage, Russia patented seven new inventions related to reactor technology. The high quality and speed of production were demonstrated by the fact that the first RM-400 reactor was assembled in May 2025, and the second was completed three months later. The lead nuclear icebreaker of Project 1510 is named Russia. Construction of the lead nuclear icebreaker is underway at the Zvezda shipyard, located in Bolshoi Kamen in the Russian Far East. This ship, measuring 209 meters in length and displacing 68,000 tons, will be the largest and most powerful icebreaker in the world. The delivery is anticipated to occur by the end of 2027. The icebreaker will be capable of breaking through solid ice that is up to 4.3 meters thick, which is a unique feature in the global shipbuilding industry with no equivalents. Innovative technologies will facilitate this capability. The icebreaker's central power unit will be two Ritium-400 nuclear reactor installations, each with a combined power output of 315 megawatts. These reactors are a more powerful and advanced version of the Ritium-200, which has already been effectively employed on icebreakers from Project 22220, including the Arctica and the Siberia. The most significant innovation of the Ritim-400 is its distinctive design, which incorporates the steam generators within the reactor vessel. This modification has considerably reduced the size and weight of the reactor, which is crucial for shipbuilding, as the characteristics and stability of the ship are directly influenced by the dimensions and mass of the equipment. In addition to being the most powerful reactor in Russia, the RETM-400 also holds the record for having the highest power output of any commercial marine nuclear reactor ever built worldwide. This suggests that indigenous nuclear technology is highly competitive on a global scale and has undergone significant development. Current Russian icebreakers of Project 2220, including Arctica and Siberia, extensively utilize the predecessor to the RITM-400. The predecessor to the RITM-400 is acknowledged for its compactness and reliability, despite having a lower power output of approximately 175 megawatts. In Soviet-era nuclear icebreakers like Arctica, which was the first surface ship to reach the North Pole, the OK-900 series was used, providing power outputs of approximately 90 megawatts per reactor. The KLT-40 series generates approximately 35 megawatts per reactor when used in smaller nuclear-powered vessels, such as the Russian floating nuclear power station Akademik Lomonosov and the icebreaker Tamir. Ohio-class submarines use the S-8G reactor from the United States Navy, which has a thermal power output ranging from 150 to 210 megawatts. This reactor serves as a marine propulsion system for aircraft carriers and submarines. Lastly, the A4W and A1B reactors used in United States aircraft carriers have thermal capacities of approximately 550 megawatts for the A4W and even higher for the newer A1B designs. Designed for distinct naval applications, these reactors significantly outperform typical icebreaker reactors in terms of power. Similar to most nuclear reactors worldwide, the REM-400 nuclear reactors used in Russian icebreakers operate on uranium-based fuel. More specifically, the fuel used is uranium dioxide, which takes the form of ceramic particles arranged within zirconium alloy tubes. These tubes are commonly used in pressurized water reactors. The uranium is further enriched to a level below 20%, uranium-235, in compliance with non-proliferation requirements for both naval and commercial marine reactors. In summary, the RIT-M reactors employ low-enriched uranium fuels that have been specifically designed for marine applications to ensure safety, longevity, and compactness.
These reactors utilize a cassette-type core with CERMET fuel that maintains an enrichment level of under 20% and increases uranium intensity, thus ensuring compliance with non-proliferation criteria. The fuel used is considered accident-tolerant because it is resistant to high temperatures and reduces the danger of zirconium steam reactions. Additionally, the design enables extended service life and refueling periods. The Ritim 200, which preceded the Ritim 400, operates with extended refueling intervals up to seven years or more in new designs and uses comparable fuel technology with enrichment up to 20%. In comparison, United States naval reactors also use highly enriched uranium fuel but at much higher levels, often over 90% uranium-235, because they have different needs, such as much higher power output and longer times between refueling. Russia has manufactured 10 reactors of the RM-200 model, which are currently operational on modern icebreakers, as well as two RM-400 reactors for the new project as of early September 2025. Additionally, the number of nuclear power units for ships is growing and becoming more varied, with 14 more marine nuclear reactors being developed or already in use, including new types of reactors. Project 1, 0, 5, 10, is intended to actively develop northern sea routes that were previously restricted by frigid conditions, in addition to maintaining navigation in the Arctic, according to additional information from Russian sources. The icebreaker will install modern control and safety systems, along with sophisticated electronic equipment, to enable operation in extreme conditions. Experts emphasize that building icebreakers with RM-400 reactors aligns with Russia's plan to develop the Arctic, which aims to improve cargo transport and explore geological resources along the continental shelf. The new generation of reactors is designed to be durable and compact, ensuring that the vessel can operate autonomously for an extended period of time without the need for frequent nuclear fuel reloading. In general, the RITM-400 reactors and the new icebreaker from Project 10510 represent a significant advancement in Russia's nuclear energy and shipbuilding industries thereby solidifying the nation's status as a global leader in developing innovative technical solutions for shipbuilding and Arctic navigation. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.